This tutorial is for fifth grade, module two, lesson 21. In this lesson, we're going to divide using division boxes, and our divisors today are going to be multiples of 10. I'll start by asking myself, how many groups of 40 can I pull out of two? Well, I can't pull any groups of 40 out of two, so that means I'm going to move my two over to the next box. And the next question is, how many groups of 40 can I pull out of 25? Well, again, I can't pull any groups of 40 out of 25, so I will move the 25 over to the next box. Here, I will ask how many groups of 40 I can pull out of 258. In order to find the answer to this, I'm going to think of my multiples of 40, which are similar to my multiples of 4. So if I think of fours, I would think four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. So if I think of my forties, I would think 40, 80, 120, 160, and eventually I get to 240, which is the closest I can get to 258 without going over. Since four times six is 24, then I know that 40 times six is 240. So I can take six groups of 40 out of 258. Six times 40 is 240. I'll do my subtraction, and I get a remainder of 18. Now that seems like a large remainder, but since we're asking how many groups of 40 we can get out of our number, that remainder is fine, because I couldn't make another group of 40 out of that leftover 18. So 258 divided by 40 equals 6, remainder 18. The next problem is 148 divided by 60. I'll start by asking how many groups of 60 I can get out of 1. Well, I can't get any groups out of 1, so I'll move the 1 over. The next question is how many groups of 60 can I get out of 14? Again, I can't get any groups of 60 out of 14. So I'll move that over. And now my question is how many groups of 60 can I get out of 148? Again, I can think of the connection to my multiples of six. So six would be six, 12, 18, and so on. So 60 would be 60, 120, 180, and so on. Well, 120 would be as close as I could get to 148 without going over. And that's two groups of 60. 2 times 60 is 120. So that's the amount I will subtract and I have a remainder of 28. That means 148 divided by 60 equals 2 remainder 28. Here are a couple more examples. The next problem is 891 divided by 70. So I'll ask how many groups of 70 I can pull out of eight. Well, I can't pull any groups of 70 out of eight. So I'll move that eight over. And now my question is how many groups of 70 can I get out of 89? Well, I can get one group of 70 out of 89. So I will subtract that group. And I have 19 left over. I'm going to move the 19 to the next box. And my new question is, how many groups of 70 can I get out of 191? If I think of my multiples of 70, I can think 70, 140, 210. Well, 140 is the closest I can get without going over. That's two groups of 70. Two times 70 is 140. So I'll subtract that. And I get a remainder of 51. And again, that seems like a large remainder, but it's still less than 70, which is uh, my divisor. So that remainder is okay. 891 divided by 70 equals 12, remainder 51. Let's do one more problem. Here I have 759 divided by 50. I can't take any groups of 50 out of seven. So I'm gonna move that over. How many groups of 50 can I get out of 75? Well, I can get one group of 50 out of 75, so I'll subtract that. 
That leaves me with 25. I'll move that over. Now I have 259. If I think of my multiples of 50, I know that 5 times 50 is 250 because 5 times 5 is 25, and that's my related fact. That means I can take 5 groups of 50 out of 259. 5 times 50 is 250. So I can subtract that, and I get a remainder of 9. That means that 759 divided by 50 equals 15 remainder 9. So you can see sometimes in my quotient or my answer, I'll have two digits and a remainder, and sometimes I'll have one digit and a remainder. Something to watch for.